I knew they were gonna show up. I really just waited for it. So Robert Card has been identified as the perpetrator in the mass shootings that have taken place in Maine. This is him. He's moved from person of interest to now there is an arrest warrant out for him. Unfortunately, Americans now, we're used to mass attacks like this. And the perpetrators generally look the same in my mind at this point. And he is the poster child of what I see in my mind when I picture somebody who carries out these crimes. These people generally come from the same background with the same type of thought process, which in today's society, you can look at their likes and interests. What were Robert's likes and interests? Well, he liked a number of political posts on X, formerly known as Twitter. His page was suspended by X, but it shows that Card followed and or liked Elon Musk, the Dallas Mavericks, as well as professors who studied terrorism and a number of prominent conservative politicians and pundits, including Donald Trump Jr. and Tucker Carlson. In March, he liked a tweet by Trump that read, quote, Given the incredible rise of trans slash non-binary mass shooters in the last few years, by far the largest group committing as a percentage of the population, maybe rather than talk about guns, we should be talking about lunatics pushing their gender-affirming BS on our kids. I'm not even going to break down how this is so inaccurate. It's just so inaccurate. But another Republican committing an atrocity. Who would have thought? Rest in peace to the victims. It was a mass shooting in Maine where up to 60 people were injured and 18 have now died. And today, Elon Musk suspended and scrubbed the Twitter account of the shooter. Why might he do this? Because when you go through the shooter's likes, you see a nonstop list of just the MAGA's greatest hits. For Carlson, Don Jr., Dinesh D'Souza, Elon Musk, McCarthy, and Cat Turd. Oh, and don't forget, Jordan B. Peterson, everybody's favorite Canadian academic. Now, it should be noted that the shooter in question did suffer from mental health issues and had been checked into a facility earlier this year. And it doesn't seem as though the shooting was necessarily politically motivated. But you can't help but think that the inflammatory things that these people are constantly tweeting might have had something to do with the mental state of the person who committed the act. Because when all of the politicians and thought leaders that you are following on socials are constantly saying that there is a war out there that needs to be fought, that there are bad people out there that are doing evil things, Maybe, just maybe, it might have a negative effect on the psyche of the people taking in that information. Just a thought. As the statements begin to roll out, make sure you peep which one of your representatives actually calls this what it is, an act of violence, white nationalism, and domestic terrorism. This isn't a senseless tragedy. This is a targeted, intentional act of white violence that we see regularly in this country. We are no stranger to angry white men with guns. This happens all the time. It will continue to happen all the time. Most of our federal delegation has been in power since I was in elementary school, if they wanted to enact gun laws, they would, but they likely never will because the institution of government benefits from this type of sanctioned violence. We see it with the Nazi marches and the push for Maine to become a white ethno state. We see it with policing and public safety. We see it with the criminalization of homelessness and racist xenophobic rhetoric towards our marginalized groups. We see this type of angry, violent whiteness every single day. I am so exhausted by the need to identify a motive. He lost his job. He was getting a divorce, he had issues with mental health, etc, etc, etc. The motive is, he's white, he has a gun, and he can enact the terror and violence on innocent people because the world has awarded him the privilege to do so. And you know, she spoke just a little bit of truth there. I know you're raising your eyebrows, but listen closely to what I'm saying. She spoke a little bit of truth when she said, I'm tired of all the lame duck excuses. Oh, he lost his job, he has mental issues, he did this, he did that, he didn't get this, he didn't get that. She's right, I'm tired of hearing that shit too because the moment I see mass shooter at large shooting people up to 80 people shot by this person you know what I'm thinking I'm not thinking about his mental health I'm not thinking about the well-being I'm not thinking about his upbringing I'm not thinking about his mom I'm not thinking about his dad I'm thinking lock him up or in this case of somebody who has willingly chosen to start taking lives take his fucking life the death penalty i know people don't like hearing that but that's the idea i have for this scenario but where she loses me and where the other people lose me too is when you try to say oh you're tired of these excuses but you're cool with the one that paints it as oh it's just a white guy doing anything he wants and you want to tell me that i should have some level of fear about white people when i should have fear about everybody because guess what white people aren't the only ones who do mass shootings i know there's some dumbasses who like to think a certain number of people dictates a mass shooting and they're kind of right based on that standpoint but we're not gonna sit here and act as if it's only white people it's only white people seemingly getting enough traction when they're white because when this same fever pitch happens and they're black 
kind of dies down just a little bit. It doesn't really keep that same strong vigor as it would any other time when it's a white guy. It should be talked about. It should be addressed. There should be ways to solve it, but nobody's got a fucking idea. Everybody, when a mass shooting happens, guesses the skin color, and whether if they're right or they're wrong, they're either going to keep the story going or let it die down because it's not their narrative. They're either going to choose the route of, we need to do this because it's the only way to save everybody, yet not really understanding that criminals don't follow these laws anyway, and then they could still go out and do mass shootings and school shootings and be a nuisance and a danger to society. No, 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 no. We must instill this mindset that this is the problem and this is the only way we can fix it, ignoring the fact that the problem will still exist because these sick babbling fucks still exist on this earth instead of just, you know, taking them out. You instead want to spend hours among hours talking about whiteness and talking about the victims of marginalized communities and talking about how we're all oppressed because of the white guy, not solving a damn thing, but just bitching about the same continuous thing over and over and over again. And honestly, I used to have this mindset that gun control would work, but I said it about two minutes ago. I'm going to repeat it. These criminals don't care about these laws. I don't care how many gun-free zones you put signs up for. Somebody's going to bring a gun there. I don't care how many advocacy marches you do. Somebody has the ability to either bring a gun there and shoot you or come there with a van and run you over because they're unhappy. The mental health excuse don't mean nothing. The random think pieces about their political affiliations and what they like on Twitter mean nothing. Them being white means nothing. Them being a psycho babbling motherfucker is something because that's what they are. No matter the skin color, no matter the ethnicity, no matter what they got between their legs, it matters that this person exists and still exists and we're supposed to care about how they feel deep inside and how the left indoctrinated him to hate the world and that's a justifiable reason and we should care about that. Oh, we should care about his skin color because his skin color is the only thing that dictates if it's a mass shooting or not. Oh, because the whites are the only ones who do such a thing. These mundane, stale think pieces that don't require any level of thought that people buy into are sad. It's another tragedy that a lot of people are going to add to the record book just so we can wait for the next one a month later, talk about it, rinse, repeat. But what bothers me is how many people are so quick for a think piece instead of a solution. You're going to look at me and raise an eyebrow and say, Leon, aren't you doing exactly that? I'm not a lawmaker, nor am I anybody in news. I'm a YouTuber broadcasting how stupid individuals take a tragedy and make it about whiteness. I am not somebody who could sign on the dotted line and end the problem like that and I'm not stupid enough to think that if it were to go down like that everything's gonna be solved that's not how the world works and I'm not expecting all of humanity to follow along with that because as I've said criminals don't give a fuck they're gonna do what they want regardless of the fucking law but what I want is that the next time we want to have the conversation of picking and choosing which mass shooting is more important than the next one we instead stop pointing the finger and do something about it something different something new because hearing about how whiteness is the reason hearing about how somebody supports Trump or they support Biden or they're a trans like none of this matters it doesn't matter lives were lost lives were taken because some sick fuck exists on this planet and y'all trying to argue that they shouldn't have their life taken away. The death penalty is my option. That's the only thing that would make sense to me. Put some fear into everybody who thinks they could get away with murder so that they don't have to sit in a cell comfortable with their actions or suddenly saying, oh, I feel bad because Big Tyrone fucked him in the ass a few times. It's over with. Can we come up with a new idea? Because constantly hearing these think pieces from people who don't care if it's not the skin color they want to demonize 24 7 is pathetic and that's all i got to say let me know what you think in the comment section down below i'll see y'all in the next one subscribe to the channel i would say be better but fuck it it's 2023 do what you want to do